Hello everyone. Today I will be showing you how to get the 6 updater and install mods the most efficient way in Armour 2. To get started, uh, go to Google, type in 6 updater, and at the very top you should see www.6updater.net. Click that and you will come to a page. Um, and you want you want to click download. Then click download version 2.9.7 or whatever it is at the time you are currently reading or watching this. Click save file or open depending on your browser. And wait for it to download. Alright, now that that's downloaded, du double click it and then click run. You'll get a uh, image just like this, just click yes, and it should launch two programs. Now I already have this, but you will have, now I already have this program, so you, what you're going to want to do is, is you should have a window called the 6 updater and the 6 launcher. Now these two things are two extremely different things. The 6 launcher is marked with a rocket and the 6 updater is marked with a 6. Alright, this is what the 6 updater looks like. This is what the 6 launcher looks like. The 6 launcher it only works with DAISY servers and this, if you launch this client from here you will only launch the DAISY mod. Note it does come pre-installed. It has other various mods that comes with it, and you can play default Armour 2. Now there is the Ace mod, but there are variation uh, variations of how people set this up. So what you want to do is you want to click Launch 6 Updater, and I've already I I already have it launched, and you won't see any servers in this location where my mouse is. So what you want to do is, is at the top left, you, you click Sync with SU Portal. The little image. And what that will do is that will... Oh, sorry, my mistake. What you want to do is, is you click the little arrow, you click Sync Games by Servers, and then you click the image above the text. And this will fetch all the servers, including Daisy and every mod, including vanilla. Now, at first it may seem kind of confusing, but it's actually quite simple. There are multiple uh, tabs up here. You have server browser, you have mods, and to the far right you have updated progress. But we'll get to that soon. At server browser, you find a server of your liking. In this case, I will be using Seal Team 3, which is a nice server. I play on it quite a bit. This server is currently locked, so I cannot access it. But oh, this should give you a good example of how it works. You right click the server, you click update actions, and there are multiple options here. You have install or update mods, install or update mods and join the server, 
install or update mods and process BI keys or join the server. Now what is recommended and what you will be using most of the time is install or update mods and join the server. What that will do is it will install all mods that that server requires and automatically launch the game and join the server. Now, for example, there are some mods that you can play on every server unless they disallow it. These mods include SMK, a popular animation mod, and RWS, a popular sound mod. Each mod has an at at the start, which is how it is identified in the files. If I find SMK here, um, I can right click, click uh, update actions, and just click install or update mods. What that will do is it will just install the mods right into my folder, but I cannot use it. Um, so what I want to do is, is before I join that server, which is called ST3, or SEALS Team 3, I click Updater Actions, Installer Update Mods, and that will install all the mods that the server requires, but it will not launch the game. On the left side, under something called a dynamic preset, um, you will see a bunch of mods show up. But I'm just going to close this for now as I don't want to launch that particular thing. Now what you want to do is, is to start the mod of your liking, you find SMK you click add to preset after you've selected dynamic so you left click dynamic and then you left click then you right click and then you click add to preset and that allows it for use in that server it very useful although if you want to uh, do something which is called a custom preset um, you can just disable all the mods from a specific preset like so and just keep on removing all of them until they're all gone and then you can just add the mods of your liking and then launch the game by clicking run updater at the top left well that's about it uh, if you need any help uh, just PM me on YouTube thanks